Hi, so I'm going to demo my Microsoft Load Balancer here on Azure with three VMs serving up a ASP.NET application. So I'm going to go to my Load Balancer here, and you'll notice in my Load Balancer, when I click on Backend Pools, there is three servers here. So those three servers run this application, and this application is a simple, uh, very skeleton application created in Visual Studio. So I am going to click here and log in as a, as a user. And you'll notice at the bottom of the application here, on all three different servers, I identify the server that it's getting. So you will see based on the load balance uh, what server it's coming from. So I'm going to You'll notice I have a session here after I logged in and the load balancer allows me to have sticky sessions but in this case I purposefully did not do sticky sessions because I want to demonstrate that it is going to different servers. So I'm going to click on about and you'll see uh, my three servers here are Firestorm, Iron Man, and Silver Surfer and I've labeled in the bottom this page comes from Iron Man and I'm going to keep on refreshing and maybe I'll click on the uh, contact so I'm going to keep on refreshing here and you'll see now this page comes from Firestorm which is a different VM and this one this particular page comes from Silver Surfer so the load balancer is doing its job but you'll notice I lose the session because I logged in I believe at, in the Iron Man so, so once I go to the correct server, you'll see my session is retained here. But as soon as I go to a different server, Silver Surfer, my session is lost. Now, the way that is maintained in the load balancer is there are load balancing rules. So in the load balancing rule here, I have a TCP uh, port 80 rule. And I could do session persistence. Now if I do session persistence, I could do it by client IP, meaning uh, every client IP that's the same goes to the same server once uh, it enters the load balancer. So I could do client IP and I'm going to hit save. Now this will take about 15 minutes to actually sort of propagate. Um, I notice it doesn't happen right away, but uh, once it activates it does work. Um, but but that's really all I wanted to demonstrate now if I go to for example back up to the server so now I'm on one of the servers and I am going to disable one of the servers so the one I'm going to disable is silver surfer or I, actually I'm going to disable two of the servers it, within the load balance set So I'm going to go to my awesome web application and I'm going to stop it and I am going to go to also my Iron Man VM here and within my IIS I will also stop this. So what this means is that the only server it should go to now is to my Firestorm server. So if you remember correctly, the backend pools that I have is three Firestorm, Iron Man, and Silver Surfer. Now, the way it detects that is under the load balancer, there's a thing called probes, which actually is basically a rule that detects whether a server is sort of alive or not. So now that I've disabled the um, applications on both Iron Man and Silver Surfer it should only feed my traffic to Firestorm so let's test that out here so you will notice it's Silver Surfer here. I'm gonna click refresh you'll notice now it just goes to Firestorm because my other my, my other uh, IES are actually disabled and you'll notice it keeps on going to Firestorm now 
Now, keep in mind that I did do a sticky session, so perhaps let me change that back so when I bring up my other VMs, I can easily demonstrate for you that it's going to back to Iron Man and Silver Surfer. So now I've disabled session persistence and I'm going to go back up to my VMs here and Iron Man I am going to start IIS again to serve up that web application and I am going to go back to Silver Surfer here and do the same thing and I'm going to start back up that application and let me show you here under probes once once again under probes it will detect that those two servers are now alive and uh, you'll notice that it, it has a five second interval where it checks so currently I am on Firestorm but if I click here and remember it takes a while for the session stickiness to propagate so I don't know if it will retain the propagation whether it'll take about another 15 minutes or so to propagate and I could test that out by opening up another window here and you'll see this goes to Iron Man so that basically demonstrates that the load balancer is able to detect what servers are alive which is a nice thing to have automatically and that's really it that that's really what I wanted to demo was uh, basically just how the load balancer is uh, a demo of the load balancer uh, working in conjunction with the ASP.NET uh, applications and that's really it and thank you for watching